today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2006 Hummer H3. Up top here we're going to have our draw type, which is going to be a class 3 hitch. And then right below that we're going to have our Kurt, which is going to also be a class 3 hitch. If I was looking for a hitch for my H3, I personally would go with the draw type, just because there's a few things that it's going to have that the Kurt's not. But let's take a closer look at both of our hitches and look at some of the features. Just looking at our hitches, we can see that the overall design is going to be very similar. And that's because both of our hitches are going to install exactly the same. The only big difference of how they're going to install is with our Kurt, they're going to give us new hardware, whereas with our draw tight, we're going to use the existing hardware that's already on our H3. Each hitch is going to have two mounting points on each side of the frame. There's going to be a couple weld nuts and a couple bolts in there. We'll pull those out, and with the draw tight, we'll reuse them, but with the Kurt, they're going to give us that new hardware. And since both hitches are class 3s, we're going to have a really wide variety of options that we can mount up. And the way we're going to mount those is using a hitch pin. Both of them are going to accept a standard 5 ace pin and clip, and they're not included with either of the hitches. But you'll notice that we're going to have a secondary hole towards the opening on our receiver tube on the draw tight. And that's going to be exclusively for the J-pin stabilization device. The way that's going to work is the threaded end will go into the hitch pin hole. We'll attach the nut and tighten it down which will bring that hook in, applying pressure to the accessory. It's gonna cut down on a lot of that rattle and noise when we're driving down the road. Now it's also a locking device, so we can make sure we keep our accessories secure. And you can find the J-Pin stabilization device here at eTrailer.com. Now as far as appearance goes, both of our hitches are gonna sit right below our bumper and that cross tube is gonna be hidden. So all we'll see is the receiver tube sticking out and not gonna to have to sacrifice any kind of ground clearance. The one difference with our draw tight opposed to the Kurt, you'll see that our receiver tube is going to be pretty close to flush with our rear bumper, which is going to help out a lot when it comes to clearance because we have our spare tire mounted on the back. The Kurt, however, is going to sit in about an inch further, which is going to be a little bit difficult to find certain bike racks or cargo carriers to work with our spare tire here. Now, when it comes to hitches, one of the main things you're going to want to know about is the weight. Both of our hitches are going to have a 500 pound tongue weight, and that's going to be the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount our hitches can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Now the draw tight and the Kurt are both designed to work with weight distribution systems. That's going to be a separate component that's mounted on your trailer. The draw tight weights are going to stay exactly the same. However, the Kurt is going to bump it up a little bit. The tongue weight's going to go up to 550 pounds, and the gross trailer weight rating is going to go up to 5,500 pounds. But with all those numbers in mind, you want to double check your H3's owner's manual because you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. So to sum everything up, if you're looking for a hitch purely to tow, I would definitely go with the Kurt because it is going to have that increased weight rating with the weight distribution. If you're looking for a hitch to mount a bike rack or even a cargo carrier, I would go with the draw tight for a few different reasons. One, we're going to have that built-in anti-rattle with the option of using the J-pin stabilization device, but also the receiver tube is going to stick out just about an inch farther, so it'll give us more clearance with our spare tire on the back. And we hope this information has helped you whenever you're looking for a hitch for your Hummer H3.